Welcome back for another Training Tuesday where I show you one of my training sessions uh, pretty much start to finish and then just kind of explain what I'm doing to give you an idea um, how and why I do things with my horse. Um, this is a session that I posted a short clip of sometime last week and talked through where I was working on uh, three separate behaviors, um, having my horse come to me when called, having him stay on a mat, and then having him walk with me um, doing some liberty leading. And I sequence these three together because it allows it to be almost like a two-way communication. So I wait for him to look at me and get his attention. And that's why when I call him to come over to me, because I know it's pretty likely to happen at that point. And we've already worked on the mat a little bit, but I honestly haven't done a whole lot with it at all recently. Um, but he's pretty keen to just step Stay. on things um, because of our reinforcement history. Stay. So um, I got him to stand on the mat here, and it's just a bath mat. Um, and so then I'm working on stay and stand on the mat. And I'm really stay. paying attention to him throughout this. Um, if I think he's not going to stay, then I either make the time that I ask him to stay shorter or I'll ask walk him on. to walk on. So walk he got on. a little fidgety there, so walk I knew on. it was time to ask him to walk on. on. And stay. that made this kind of a two-way communication because I knew he was about to walk anyway, so I just went ahead and asked for it. And that way I was able to reinforce it. So he walked away from me there, which is fine. The whole goal of this walking on as I want him Walk to on. kind of keep me at his shoulder and that's why I have that target I'm kind of using that to give him a clue of where I want him to be but at any point he can walk off and go back to the corner where the hay is and then I start the whole cycle over again Walk on. But instead of me just calling all the shots, I'm kind of paying attention to him and seeing what he's ready for. So right there, he decided to walk back over to the hay and I call him and see if he'll come back, but he doesn't want to. So I let him eat his hay and I start back over with the mat. <coughs> So he kind of gave me his eye, so I went ahead and called him and showed him the mat. He came back to the mat. So I reinforced that. And I went ahead and just asked him to walk on this time without doing the stay. And he definitely wants to stay. So that's my fault. I should have asked him to stay there because it looked like he actually was prepared to do that. But that's okay, I will get better next time. So there, I reinforced him for staying with me and then also giving me those nice big panther walk steps. And then he decided to go back to the hay. So I'm working in a folding stall, so it's fairly big for a stall, um, but it's still not a lot of space, which makes it a little hard to do the liberty leading. But I actually like that because it creates a lot of opportunities to bend in different directions. So I'm starting the whole process back over again. And later, this video is actually like 30 minutes long. I cut it down because that's really long. Um, but later in this video, I learned my lesson and instead of continuing to ask him to come to me, I do what I'm doing now and just wait at the mat and take deep breaths until I know that he is actually ready to re-engage. Um, learning to give them their space, even for just like 30 seconds, is huge when it comes to them wanting to re-engage with you. And this is something that I know in my head, but I don't always practice in reality. So that's something I'm working on, and it's why I video so many of my sessions, so I can kind of watch and critique myself and um, strive to get better every time I work with my horse. So I cut some of this out again. It was a really long video, but here's me just waiting for him again. And he's looking at me, which is a great time for me to call him. And he comes, he gets rewarded. Good boy. 
And I'm trying to take things nice and slow. He gets really energetic sometimes and we can kind of play off each other and make these sessions a little frantic. So here, especially in this small space, I'm really trying to keep things like pretty chill and make sure he knows exactly what I'm asking. Back on. So he was a little Back fidgety on. on the mat there, so I figured we should go ahead and just walk on a little bit. And Back on. I'm gonna see if he'll keep following me, but he decides to stay over in his corner. And here I have sped things up because again, the session was long. Um, but really, it's almost like doing a bunch of little mini sessions because he gets a little break in between. So it kept the frustration down because we always had something to move on to and he always had the opportunity to go take a break. So there he went to eat again. I'm going to call him back over. And you can see his time eating is shortened even though I know it's sped up. but. It also gets a lot shorter, and here I'm gonna start working on staying on the mat again. And there I didn't walk away um, because I wanted to make it easy for him. And there I take a few steps away and just wait for a few seconds before I reinforce. And I'm just kind of working a little further and further away and a little more and more time but I'm also paying a lot of attention to him if I feel like he's getting fidgety. Like right there, that little fidget, I could tell he was maybe not ready to stay like that. And I should have had him walk on before that one, but I'm gonna get him stationed back on the mat. I love this process because it allows him to teach me while I'm teaching him. So back to the hay, but then he comes right back to me, which is awesome. Gets right on the mat. <laughs> I sound kind of like a mouse in this sped up version, but I like to keep the sound on so you can hear my clicks. So there you can definitely tell he's a little fidgety. So it's time for us to walk on. And sometimes he'll do a crunch on the mat, and that's a great way to get him to stay, um, even if he's not standing perfectly still. There I was able to get a little bit more space from him, which is really cool. And I'm not rewarding him for the crunch, but I love that he's doing it. That's always, uh, I've kind of made that a default behavior just because it's something that's really good for him and um, it's not, it's a great default behavior to have. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at uh, how my voice sounds. So I definitely should have asked him to walk on before this point. I overdid the stay. <laughs> and now we're gonna walk on. And this time, he walks past the corner with the hay. So that was really exciting. So I'm gonna end it here. It continues on, but it's kind of more rep repetitions of what you've already seen. Um, I would love any comments that you might have about this training session or if there are other topics that you would like for me to cover on Training Tuesday, um, just send me a message and I, will, I would love to address it. Thanks again for watching. I hope this was helpful and you can check out more stuff like this on my YouTube channel, Musgrave Equestrian, my Facebook page, also Musgrave Equestrian, and my Instagram, which is Musgrave Equestrian. Thanks for watching.